Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, uh, we had, well, discovered a few things, uh, including, uh, do the right buttons here, uh, or, you know, <laughs> go to the right options, that I could customize how I look. Boy, I think I look good. Damn. Alright. Uh, on top of that, uh, we have figured out how to customize names on not only my multi-tool, but my ship. But I haven't done that yet. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be doing that later. But for right now... Uh, just looking at what I got in my inventory right now. Um, pretty light on stuff, actually. Pretty light. Not a lot of things. But, with this, oh, that's all my stuff in here. That makes sense. Okay, um, let us... That was not what I meant to do. I hit the wrong thing. I want to launch. There we go. Let us go to... Actually, I don't know where to go to. Or nearby planets or search in a new system. Hmm. Got that... That's not what I expected. <laughs> Alright. That was absolutely not intended. Uh, so we're going to do this again. I'm actually going to hold on to the throttle this time so that doesn't happen again. Uh huh. Alright, there we go. And we're going to of course, break down a couple of these things. Why not? Alright. Oh, that's a big one. That was a big one. Just gonna break down a few of these things, because I know at some point they're going to be useful. Going to need them. Tritium in particular, I know, will be useful. Everything else, eh, maybe, maybe not. But... Anyway. Now I've done all that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Um... Have I explored the entirety of the system yet. I mean, I've done the planet. I feel like I've done the planet pretty well. But also... I don't know if I've done that planet. I have not. BEP61Z9. Okay. The star bulbs, copper, and paraffinium and salt. Well, I mean, it's not copper looking these days. Or rather my chromatic metal. Hmm. Not looking too good. Chromatic metal is used in a lot of things. So, I probably go pick that up. But, the question is, was there some on the other planet? I forget. Yes, there is. It's a dusty planet. Anyway. And, to be fair, I already have a base on it, so might as well. I, I can't resist, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to 
I have to do those. I have to. Okay, Jesus. I was about to say, getting a little too close for comfort. Alright. Now that I've actually done that, I will head for the base. Whee! And when I'm done on the planet, which I can actually know what the surface will be like to get all the copper I feel I can use. Then, I'll be golden. Oh, geez. <laughs> I'm so cockeyed. There we go. A little better. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Alright. Yeah. That's looking pretty alright. And we just slowly wind down onto the planet and land here. This should be fine. Ish. Yeah. Relatively good. Hi there. Okay. Um. Hmm. It strikes me now, this is actually my old colony. My old colony base. <laughs> ah, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Uh, but I still do need to... Uh, get a little closer to my ship. I absolu absolutely... Absolutely... Still need to... Uh, do stuff... On the surface of this planet it comes to getting copper so might as well actually do that oh, that ain't too far some of these actually aren't too far period yeah that ain't too bad so that's the copper one there there's another one there might as well do that and this is just to get additional copper for my needs. Because, unfortunately, I will end up needing a lot of copper. Or, technically, a lot of chromatic metal in the future. I, I can just see it. So. And... Might as well get some your ferrite and you know pyrite while I'm at it there we go that's fine and oh, that did not work out the way I intended but it's fine Alright. Just to make sure there's nothing else on my way. I'll get that. Actually, it's pretty close. I'll get that now. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I can deal with it, though. Not like I haven't done it before. Alright. There we go. Perfect. And yeah, that should do it. And we'll get some salvage data. Perfect. That's not what I meant to do either. Or entirely. There we go. Much better. This I'll mine down.
<clears throat> ah, gotta love getting a good gulp of tea. Especially in early, early morning, which is when I'm recording this. Maybe doing a better timetable of when I record these? Absolutely. But, uh, work has dragged on and been a pain in my behind. Uh, gotta love having to be forced to paint. To make sure everything looks spick and span. Alright. Anyway, we are almost there now. Whoops. That was almost bad. Oh, it's on the other side of this massive hill. Well, that's not going to be fun. Well, hi there! Buzz over me, why don't you? Oh, uh, no. It's not really that much of a deposit now, is it? Alright, well. Get what's left, anyway. Huh. Knowledge stone. Well. That was unfortunate, but I'm pretty sure the next one won't be that bad. That's a salt deposit. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Okay, let's go, Alonzi. Ah, Alright, well, away we go, regardless. And hopefully, this one won't be as empty. <laughs> Alright, how's our sodium looking as well? Oh, not too bad. Cool. So, recharging the hazard protection shouldn't be too bad. And we'll recharge the life support too while we're at it. Nice. Boop. Ow. Feeling that was gonna happen. I was about to say, did I get hit with something else? Wait a minute. Son of a bitch. Already been emptied. Oh my god. Is this going to be what I end up doing the entire time? Is that it's all just not there? Oh boy. Maybe I was better off going to a different planet. <laughs> Alright. I'll check out the knowledge stone, and if all else fails. Oops, that wrong mining thing. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, you little shit. Weasel. Get out of here. Alright. Ah! one I actually haven't learned. Nice. Okay. Viking word for honor. Alright. Well. I should actually move this over here. Drive me nuts if I don't. Up. That is not what I meant to do. Doing that. Alright. I'm just gonna do this for a little bit. Because I might not run into Pyrite again for a while. You never know. And pure ferrite has its uses, so... There we go. Oh. I keep forgetting some of these are... Some of these smaller rocks have it. 
Don't know why I keep forgetting that. Just I forget it sometimes. Oh, uh, this one though. Oh, Gia, nice. All right. Now well, might as well get that, and then I'm done with the planet. I swear, I will move on to the next planet. I swear. I swear, I'm not kidding. I mean it this time. I will. Alright. It's right over there. Good. Let's mine this down while I'm passing by it. There we go. Perfect. And it was right there. Manipulate our way down to it. Haha! -ha! Beautiful. Cool. Alrighty. And we're doing about as well as I could. Given the fact that I was planning on doing things, couldn't do them because <laughs> this planet, I've basically already mined extensively. tried it. They were failures. I'm not. I tried the last dozen or so. What is this anyway? Oh, that's food. I tried the last dozen. They've been dismal failures. I'm not doing it any further. Do I need dihydrogen? Yes, I will. I will need dihydrogen. Might as well get some while I'm here. don't want to end up in a situation where I can't make more launching fuel for the starship. Even though I do have plenty right now, that does not mean that will continue to be true. Hello. So, I will head back, actually go to the other planet this time. Actually... Will I technically need to go to my ship to do that? I don't think I will. I could probably... Probably do that. From, uh... My little portal. My teleporter. Okay. Um, <laughs> suit's not gonna make it to... There we go. Let's just do that. There we go. Alright. Thinking that I could probably get away with it from the teleporter, but I'm not entirely sure. How correct I am on that. So, here's hoping. I mean, I'm also assuming that I'll be able to make that work. Due to... Well, it's out of charge. Due to the fact that I've used the... Uh, Teleported to get back here in the first place to this space station. In this system. Ooh. And we'll break that open. Nice. Alright, that should be good.
All right. So if worse comes to worse, if I can't get this one up and running without using up more resources than I intend to, then I will just uh, go to the space station's one and do that that way. All else can always get out of there. That sort of thing. Alright. Well, the sun is up. That might give me a chance. Alright. And... Well, yep, yeah, I was about to say, that does make me think I might have a better chance at it. That's salt, isn't it? Yeah, that's salt. Damn it. Okay. Use the teleporter to go to... Oh, that's the station. This is the other... The other planet. And when I go to that planet, my ship should follow. And then I'll find the space station in this system, then I won't have to go back to the old system. I'll avoid having this snafu happen to me again. <laughs> because I honestly completely forgot I was in a different system. Let's see. Buildable technology? Let's see what I can do so far. Health station signal booster. That detects nearby buildings. Can decrypt navigational data to pinpoint specific locations. Signal booster can be dismantled and redeployed for easy transportation. That is nice. That is very nice. Wooden shelters, metal shelters, uh, concrete shelters. Okay. On the core habitation tech, I think I'm okay for now. Uh, I do kind of want to go into the metal for right now. And I think I have just enough to get the roof, frame, wall, and panel. Nice. All right. And then we'll do that. Good. Nice. Perfect. And that is everything I can do. Well, it's good to see that the battery storage is holding. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. And my ship did follow me. Told you. Told you I would go. Alright. Okay. So. This planet was... Full of what, exactly? Paraffinium. Which I... Still don't know exactly what that is. Cobalt. And... Other sort of... Monolith. That was what I went to a while back. Yeah, there's not much else going here that I can use. Yeah, knowledge stone. Oh. <laughs> About to say, it looked like it was in the tree. Alright. Up we go. I have no idea what to do with these things. Or if there's anything I need to do with them. Anyway. <laughs> just get out of the... Get out of the planet's atmosphere for now. Get a 
go. That is... Huh. Incoming transmission from unknown source. You are not ksk, alone. Please identify yourself. I'm ksk. Okay. You left me ksk. Why did you ksk? I don't understand. I honestly don't understand. Of course you'd say that. Of course you'd ksk. ksk. Just like the others. But the others. There's no reply. Communicator falls silent, though the channel remains open. Huh. I get coordinates. Stranger's coordinates? On the planet. Life incompatible planet. It does got copper, but it's also a bunch of rusted metal and salt. Might not be worth it. Gucci, what is the other planet? Oh, this it's on the other planet entirely that's next to uh, Gucci. Ribhansib? Anasib? That's a hell of a name. It also has copper, though. But it's also very high sentinel activity. That's not going to be fun to deal with. Um, but the other planet I was looking at. Oh, wow. That thing is massive. Uh, okay, that was the planet I think I was looking at at the time. I got that message. That one's fungal mold, copper, ammonia, and salt. Okay. Okay, alright, alright, okay. Well, what I was going to do was go to the space station. So, I'm just going to do that first before I meet this stranger who's able to communicate with me. That got closer than I thought it would. There we go. All right. Now I am on station for a new. Go. Aha. Hello, Daft Punk. Tus Corvax Entity Yichi. I don't know what the rest you're saying. Lights in the life forms casing are wide and dim. As they turn to talk, their mask becomes momentarily blank. They swiftly come back online, but I can't help but feel that their piercing gaze is that of a different entity altogether. Lifeform's visor warps and flickers, some intercorvax consultation taking place. A moment later, scientist entity is restored. They present a list of language symbols. Ah, it's your friendship. It teaches me a word of their language. For ehew. Ehew. What the? How does that even mean? Hello, mission agent. Oh, you give me money and nanites. Shocking number of them about photo mode. Curious tastes for killing sentinels. 
wasn't aware the Sentinels were something that needed to be killed. For any reason. Interesting. Well. At least I would get money for doing it. The client is on a search to improve themselves. To expand their mind and free themselves from the physical limitations of their fragile body. To this end, they are attempting to survive on a diet of pure... Pugnium? Hmm. That's from Sentinels, I guess. <laughs> from reading this. Unfortunately, until they have benefited from this... From the... This consumption. That's uh, just a bad translation there. They are unable to destroy the Sentinel drones required to acquire it. They seek brave explorers to engage and destroy Sentinels so that they may come along after and eat their fill. As weird, but alright. Oh, I could take on more. Okay. The client is undertaking a long-term comparative study. They require time-stamped photographs for their archives. The images they require are landscape ones, showing the full range of planetary topography. The client specifically requires images taken on foot. In-ship photos will not be accepted. Fair enough. I can do that. On an airless world. That would be the unsuitable planet, for sure. Uh, the client hopes to supplement their revenues with the creation and distribution of postcards selling holographic images as a souvenir. Their current need is for images that create a sense of home that remind their viewer of their childhood. The client takes no responsibility for any hazards encountered by the photographer. Desert world, huh? I could do that. And scanning minerals. The client is performing a study into rocks as a food source for lichen-based life. Okay. They are building a database against which their projections will be mapped and tested. As such, they require planet-side geologists to return with detailed scan data. Alright. Well, that's a whole bunch of ways I can do things. Oh, well, hello there. Hello there. I didn't see that there. Huh. Kind of looking at me there, but. Okay. Quest dialect help. Okay. Touches my suit. Strange symbols form in my mind, each representing a concept I might learn. A uh, technology symbol. For research. I know I can get upgrades from my exosuit over here, so I might as well come over in this direction. There we go. Oh, I can put it anywhere. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Well. I don't see why not. Very small amounts of money. Okay. Uh, starship research. Eh, might as well. Purchase upgrade modules. Let's look what they got. Nothing particularly impressive. Oh! Herald of the Ancients. That is a massive thing. And it's got a plasma launcher to boot. And the advanced mining laser. And amplified cartridges? What does that even mean? I'll compare it with my current one. The damage potential on my little multi-tool is higher than this one. I don't understand how that works. Because it doesn't actually have a proper bolt caster attached? Maybe. 
Hmm. Still, yeah, it's it's not something I can afford anyway, so we'll just call that off for now. Hello! Installable multi-tool upgrades in exchange for nanite clusters. Hmm. Geology cannon. The flying fuck is a geology cannon. Okay. Yeah, well, I think I'm good. I think I'm good for now. Okay. Well, let's go here. Well, hello. Hello, little guys. Other person. Okay, um... Cell. Paraffinium. Well, I mean, it would sell for a decent bit, but not enough probably to justify it. Um... Hmm. that good for now. Um, no, that's not a door. I figured. Secretary McGayan, Conscript Achin, and Scholar Entity Izov. Hmm. There we go. Pretty sure I can't interact with them too much anyhow. What the what? Oh, I can't go in there anyway. Okay, but that was weird looking. I kind of was tempted to see what would happen. <laughs> Alright, and whee! <laughs> and I'll go and see what's in this room before I get off of this. Whole thing. Well, there wasn't much here at all. What is there? Yep, yeah, nope, that's not a door. That's probably not a door either. Oh man, I was hoping for something a little more substantial in here. <sighs> oh well. Oh, hello there. No hunter day. Grah! Six is ho, oh. <laughs> and I him optimal. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Inhales the last of their battle gas and smiles at me with newfound serenity. Okay, so battle gas is apparently some sort of drug. Uh, dialect help. A list of symbols. A uh, Viking symbol. Have I learned all the Viking symbols? Oh, well, that sucks. I practice language skills. Sentinel Hunter Day absentmindedly toys with their multi-tool as they listen for what I have to say. Uh... Help? Pauses, deciphering the meaning from my word choice. Finally, they nod and freely recharge my exosuit. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Not necessarily what I meant, but thank you. Alright. Whoa, that's an impressive ship. Look at that. Not alone. Met ten aliens. Oh, it'll be more than that before the end, that's for sure. Go. Alright. Scalding planet. This one is Tropical Moon. The Gucci planet I was at. A caustic planet. Uh, where was the other? to look at the log. Uh, 
Um, base computer archives. Search archives for data. Could do that. Um, see, scan planet from space with LS, an airless world. that constitute an airless world? I don't know. Fugitive starship detected. Really? I'm assuming that's what the... Is that what... That is? Oh, it has a hundred thousand credit bounty on it. Whoop, okay. Well, currently out of range. Well, be my first little bit of star combat. Okay. Pulse drive disabled. Hostile ships in range. Whoa. Hey! Got a bit of stuff from that. I got chromatic metal. Although I think someone stole my thunder on that. It's annoying. Yeah, someone stole the fucking... <laughs> Damn it. Lemin... Lemium. Pure ferrite alloy. Crafted from pure ferrite and uranium. Okay. Well, it is a lot of money, but... Um, I'm annoyed that I didn't get the bounty. I went through all of that. <laughs> okay, life incompatible planet. Yeah, maybe that's what they mean. Okay, well. <laughs> introduced to space combat. Now I know what it's like. That's always something. And now we head to the Life Incompatible Planet, hoping that it's the airless world that they're talking about. And I guess we'll find out in a second if I'm right. Yeah, apparently, I'm looking over at the recording software. Apparently I've missed a few frames. Just a few. Thankfully. If it was more than what it currently is, I'd be very much more concerned. Alrighty. Target planet reached. So it was correct. Alright. Ooh, 
cool, cool, cool. Well, it's otherwise okay. Just lacks air. That ain't too bad. That ain't terrible, anyway. You're kidding me. The secondary element off of this oxygen. Well. Whoops. Didn't mean to destroy that before scanning it, but hey. And dihydrogen. Interesting. Hmm. And carbon. Very interesting. No, that's not scannable. Okay. So. How do I do the camera thing? Move sun. Um, I'm pretty sure sun's not really something I can move. Because I don't think the sun is going to be in the It will be available, just doesn't change much of anything on the outlook of the whole planet. Change height a little bit. Yeah, that should be fine. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do either. Um, effects. Lens. No, okay. That isn't what I meant to do either. God. But apparently it did it. Now I need to return to the mission agent to get the money for what I just did. Well, I did the thing. Ooh, and then there's copper, which is a thing I needed. Well, gotta love when everything comes together like that, huh? Needed copper, here's copper, did the thing for the mission, even though I didn't understand what I was doing. Still did it in the end. And with that, I can call this a successful episode. Ish. Kind of. Wouldn't say all that successful, but it was mildly successful. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. I just noticed the anti-gravity sort of situation I'm dealing with on this planet. I didn't deal with that before. Wow, that's really something. <laughs> anyway, this has been the one and only Stray Cat, playing games and trying to explore the planets around me. Um, now that I'm in a new system properly, uh, unlike where I was prior to this, and uh, see what else I can get out of, well, people and the surroundings that I'm in. And uh, also figure out what the hell the whole story is about. But to be fair, we all know that it's probably going to be on the back burner for me for quite a while. I'm kind of a very easily distracted person. <laughs> and then there's so much to do. What? How, how can I resist for you?